Welcome back to Face TV, ladies and gents. Here for the G2A.com Cup, the European edition, we have ourselves a Mouse Sports, and uh, Mouse Sports they did pretty well so far on ma number one against Flipside, but it's it's on cash now, and uh, oh, there's a lot of skill in this match, and Mouse Sports are able to actually uh, edge over the win there on Mar wait they did right. Yeah, pretty sure they did. <laughs> I just checking that because sometimes I'm like, wait a second, there's like a small seed of doubt planted in my brain, and I'm like. But but what if what if that did, that's not true? You're good, oh Dan. my god! You're good. <laughs> but Mouse Sports, the team expected uh, to win. The team that has all the skins on him uh, should be should be well on the way potentially to to uh, a win in this series. All they have to do is close out Cash now, and Cash is the choice of Mouse Sports as well. So they already won Flipside's map. So it should be smooth sailing for, from here on out, or or well, I mean, we've seen how crazy Dennis likes to get on uh, Cash. He likes to. Just go absolutely mad with the AWP in mid. Doesn't matter if there are three people peeking, he'll still peek you back. So, you know, map, map pick is map pick, but it, it's not a guaranteed yeah. win by any means. And it's uh, cash is cash is a pretty fun map. It's it's become a bit of a staple um, in recent months. It's a very well received new map, and yeah. it's it's been doing really well. And this it's a simple but but very very uh, it's got a lot of depth to it. It's a, it's a good map. It's a good staple map. It's a sto solid map, yeah. Even yeah. though it has become a little bit uh, CT-sided, it's gener generally... Uh, I, I, th I still think it's generally because a lot of, a lot of teams are still struggling with, with how to play T-side. I think eventually it's going to even out quite a bit, a bit more. But uh, at the moment, it's, we're seeing that it is definitely a bit uh, CT-sided. So you'd, you would love to start on the CT-side. And we'll have to see if... Uh, which team is going to be able to get that as we do see the knife now. Nobody's using the slash slash stab tips that uh, you know, I was bringing in the, in the last match. They're really not tuned into the stream, DDK. This is terrible. They're just, they're just not, not tuned into, into the, life. New, the new trends. That's, uh, it only really works if you get like a one-on-one, -on -one, but then you're guaranteed to get the kill. So it's like kind of anyway, looks like Mouse Boss is going to be starting off on the CT side, and that's uh, definitely very nice for them already having having the advantage of, of being on match point, so I'm sure they are laughing on the comms. And Flipside are going to start off on, on team. Maybe they've got some cool T stuff to show us, though. We are about to find out. See what these uh, teams have in store for us. Both teams are playing with a stand-in, though. That's something to remember, which is uh, pretty hard to deal with. Or, in Flipside's case, two stand-ins. So you'd, you'd probably see, we're probably going to see some very basic slash mixy stuff from Flipside. Going for it looks like they want that uh, that B split actually, and the Snyder's already there. He could he could do a lot of damage from this position if they are rotating through there. But Chris J, oh, he's on the side back. get taken down, and in it comes. Now they have revealed their intention, and Mouseports have to react. And so far they are left wanting. They can't do anything to stop this push just yet. Berg pushing it all the way through to CT, but the smoke is going to force him to back away. So flip side, looking very strong. Hard for Mickey and Alu to really do much here. But they are going to do their best to try. The uh, Miki left alone now. 2000 is going to get taken down by Dennis. Only losing Twist. That's a uh, really nice round there from flip side. That's yeah, a good start for the T side. Berg with uh, lots of money in the bank. Going to go straight for the AK. So two AKs coming out here for the Terra team. Uh, you know what's you interesting? Just with the Tech Nine. I just, I just realized something, James. With the CZ change, I mean, we, this is this is not necessarily the point to talk about this, but with the CZ change, there is a lot more incentive for teams to actually keep their money and focus on having stronger buy rounds instead of just having really good ability to gun down people <laughs> with the CZ. <laughs> uh, obviously, the five seven is good, but it's not quite as uh, as amazing. And he's like, it's not stupidly broken. Yeah, I mean, you can't run and spray and like get kills with it with a five seven. You got to kind of, s it, you, you're you're at a dis but disadvantage. It yeah, it's it's much harder to pull off. So so that kind of check that this was like kind of the the problem um, of the CZ. But we'll we'll, we'll go into this. We're kind of go into this. Yeah, why not? Ali's got like a little, but one of the problems, and I think even you know, Thorin actually had a video where he talked about this quite a lot with the CZ, is that. Because the CZ is so good at doing damage, it's kind of like a no-brainer. You kind of have to, you kind of almost have to do it. So you don't have to have as many strong buy rounds because you're always going to be able to keep the pressure on by going for those CZ armor buys. But now teams are going to be thinking, well, we don't have a really ridiculously OP pistol anymore. So we're going to have to think about 
how we save our money a bit more, and we're going to have to have stronger, stronger gun rounds. Or if we do go for the pistol plays, we've got to actually have a plan behind it and not just run and gun. So the CTs have committed to mid and B at the moment. No frags as of yet, though. Three versus five now. Look, you're going to try and get some frags. Does connect close with the P2000. So at least that's something. CP uh, opts to save the A, the Galil, sorry. You can't even finish the sentence and he's it. dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a bit of a wipe out there for mouse bots, but it is the buy round finally for them. We'll see if Chris J, if when he brings out the AWP, there it is. And they've, they've got more money than normally you'd otherwise have because they didn't really invest that much into what normally would have been the second round CZ armor slash scout buy. So we actually see a, an okay amount of grenades and an AWP on Chris J. So, so uh, pretty nice stuff coming in for mouse bots. Can they hold though? This is a pretty, pretty quick mid take. Oh, that's beautiful. Trying to the Now you over by the car is going to be working in onto that A main area, which is currently smoked off. But flip side do have a man by called boxes as well. It's getting very, very, very awkward at the moment. It's like there's there's T's everywhere right now. He does get a couple frags for going down, so doing a decent job. But uh, and Chris J in a position where. Uh, it's, it's a really rough position to deal with. Do they have a kit? They don't even... Okay, Chris J has a kit, actually. If Chris J can actually pick up a kill, then they can think about just uh, committing here. But Chris J, he needs he needs a kill, and he's Adu to do something to go for it. Now he can go and commit here. 2 on 2, but Berg is going to take down Adu very quickly. Chris J edging in there. It's the shot. That's a 1 on 1 now. Berg on quad boxes. But Chris J doesn't like the amount of time he's got left, and he's going to hightail out of there. So, good attempt from Adu and Chris J, but... Uh, it's going to be another round for clip flip side. Yeah, that AWP is... <laughs> oh, his AWP is called Online Joe, I just noticed. Uh, his AWP is very, very precious to him. And yeah. uh, he wants to save that for a rainy day. Give the scope a bit of a polish and uh, bring it in for the next round. I'll never forget that uh, round. It was on the T side, though, where Virtus Pro went for four pistols and an AWP and actually made it work and yeah. won the round as well. Yeah, it can be. It can work really well sometimes, especially if because of the surprise factor. If you play around it well, the orb can get you a quick kill, maybe a weapon for a teammate, and it can... Yeah, there's lots of options. It can work really well. So, Chris J, the man to watch here on the CT side of the AWP, he's going to have to rotate all over the shop and uh, try and make a good read on where the bomb is headed. He is, has been smoked off. Oh, it's going to be a collision. He does get a better of it. The bomb is oh. down as well. Get oh. the third frag. This is ridiculous. Chris J with a five kill. The ace coming out. So sick. Chris J with the op. And he is going to be making those highlight reels happen. In before highlights. Mouse Sports are now back on the board. One round for them against the four of flip side. But more importantly, they've got the money for a proper buy. Beautiful stuff from Chris J, giving his team a chance. And that is that is the power he lends. That was absolutely disgusting. It was beautiful. And disgusting at the same time. It was disgustingly beautiful. Alright, so Mouse Sports now off the back of a, a clutch an ace like that. They're gonna be feeling good. Twist though will get the opening kill towards the B bomb side from B storage. And uh looks like they are getting picks into middle as well. It's, I think we saw around lost like this before from our sports. Getting picked up here and there and everywhere. It's now a two on two as Nuki and Adu are left alive, but there's that bomb gonna go. It looks like it's uh, heading over towards B and we're gonna see Nuki make his way from C T and Adu from the vents. Is the vent pop actually? So uh, let's check out Adu briefly, see if that uh, vent is popped. In fact no it, it is popped. He does get himself down through uh the vent room to these angles. They've got plenty of time to work this out right now. And Twist, not so useful in that position just yet, but he's going to make his way around to Heaven now. And in goes Adu onto the bomb site, but Twist is coming very shortly up from Heaven, I think. There it is. Twist has the angle onto the site. Adu going for the headshot position. Twist goes for the peak, and the spray is going to do the job, and Adu is going to fall. And uh, after that big, big five kill from Chris J, it's all, they, they must be left feeling a little bit deflated. Chris J could actually buy an AWP here. Yeah, he's going to do it. I love that. Love it. This Made is, it work last time, right? But this is a spot where it actually makes sense because he's got his, the money disparity is so huge that you, you might as well just, like, just go for it. There, it's, so, it's very viable. You could just save the money and then do loads of drops, but he's Chris J. He can get five kills with AWPs. Why not? 
We're going to see already that uh, Frag's being traded towards middle, and this is going to put Mouse Sports in a, in a decent position, actually, because uh, the, when the eventual rush does come, there's going to be less players to, to tackle Chris J. He's going to get a bit more of an edge on some of these fights. But we'll have to see if he's able to actually get where the action is going to be happening. Because so far he's towards A and the bomb is ferried over towards B. Top flash coming in from Tabson. So the terrorists do make their way in slowly. So it's not quite perfect then if he has an angle. And comes Chris J. He's going to flash himself through just like the time before. Oh, Chris J, what a ridiculous <laughs> shot. The bomb is down in the middle of the site. Chris J looking for uh, frags through the smoke. I'm going to find anything just yet, but there's just one player left over. So one on one against Chris J, and he can't do it. Chris J pulls out the clutch again. That first frag through the smoke. That was godlike. He is insanely fast with, I mean, this is just ridiculous. I don't know what to say. This is why he's like the best player online. Yeah. <laughs> he's he just is, another level. He is the best player in the world on the internet. Yes. He's so good. All right. And especially with the sniper rifles as well, it's just, just, oh god, it's so good to watch. And he's gonna be, he's gonna be playing the role of the uh, kind of pick into B storage uh, man. And we do have the boost coming up here. Through onto, oh, actually, you hold out four. And in the meanwhile, flip side just barreling into the uh, A bomb site. And uh, bomb does go down, so the job is done for them. As Ali should really back off here, stay alive, let his teammates do the dirty deeds of taking those terrorists out to the out to the cleaners and we're gonna have uh, another round there for mouse sports but uh, we're gonna get the plus 800 on top of the uh, the bonus sorry on top of the four, yes it'll be 1400 for the terrorists so they're gonna be able to buy and uh, I guess all eyes on Chris J right now this guy has been hitting some shots yeah Legia at the bottom of the board with one kill and Chris J with eight keeping his team in this match Two of uh, these three rounds have been massive solo plays by Chris J to uh, bring things into Mouse Sports' favor. And he's going to miss that one just by a whisker, while in the meantime, Schneider gets a frag. Nice pop flash there. Will give him uh, the opportunity to advance. He is hunting for this frag, and he isn't going to get it. It's going to be Twist coming out on top. Bergen Dumas left with him. Nuki Tabson and Ali for Mouse Sports. As we can see at the moment, everything has slowed down. We have had some crazy war of attrition here. Nuki is going to get a frag from Vent onto Middenberg. Twist is going to catch him unawares. And uh, it's back to a two on two now from a three on three. So all fair and square, but uh, time is not on flip side's side, <laughs> for lack of a better word. They're just sitting in mid, just waiting for some aggression from the CTs. But as you can see, there's just one on either side at the moment. Tabson possibly getting itchy feet, just moving around. This is why they're waiting so long, because they know that they're going to be able to get on the site really fast. Unless there's like a gamble from Mouse Sports and they stack one site, they can use pretty much all the time just to wait and force Mouse Sports to just fully rotate and uh, now they can abuse it. Now they know where Tabson is. He's going to go for the first one on one. Great play from Tabson. Twist going to take down Tabson though, and that's going to get the bomb planted. But Twist on 20 health, already with the three kill this round, over by Headshot. He's been very cautious at the moment, and Ali's going to come in at a very appropriate timing. Oh, the HE going to the back. It's not going to catch Twist though, but Ali will find him nonetheless. So, looking good, for the orb. Good cleanup from Ali there. And Mars Sports are going to win themselves another round. It's very back and forth at the moment. So far, it's nothing but Star Factor keeping Mars Sports in the match. Yeah, Massbots, one round deficit now. They need to uh, raise this game if they are to take the lead here. You can see Twist and Schneider both on 10 kills on the opposing side. But they are going to be on the eco. Again, we're seeing lots of tech knives coming out here. Chris J once again with the AWP. Going to be heading towards B, but it looks like an early A push here from the terrorists. We have only one smoke in the bag for them, so... Not sure what kind of approach they're going to have to this. Maybe just a straight push. Indeed, it's a straight push. We've got five people on the site here. And uh, the CT's position to take the site. To retake the site, sorry. Bomb has gone down, so that's some guaranteed money for the T's. And here comes a push from the CT. They just have to be very slow, methodical, cautious. Do this and do it right. Because you don't want to run into the Tech Knights here and just, just get sprayed down one by one. It's happening. 
They are losing a lot of players right now. Three left alive. Ali and Chris J on very low points of health. In comes Burr from short. Going to be able to take down Chris J. Tabson in now with the Eagle. There goes the shot. Throwing it over towards Quad, and here he goes, bringing around the rose. He's going to find the headshot onto both, but there's no time. Going to pick up, or try to pick up something and just get out of there. He's, oh, just going to make it survive with 34 health. Where's the AWP? Where is it? No. No, or for Chris J. And Flips are going to take that round. That's a round that really, I mean, ah, it's, it's, it's really rough for them to lose a round like that. I guess one thing you really need in those spots is uh, is really good nades because there's there's not going to be any counter nades coming out from from flip side in that spot. But look at that twist getting a shot through the smoke there, and I think he was just doing the uh, the normal timing towards white box where you just you line it up through the smoke and then just just shoot to maybe catch someone an author running across. But he actually got someone right in front of him. Berg taking control of a main. This is very good news for flip side. Left with many options now. Around. What are Mouseports going to do to get back in this one? Well, might just main push. That's, that's wow. a great response. Great response. He was lucky to get away with that. It was a bit of a delayed uh, shoot there from Alu. And Twist did get a shot off, but just completely missed him somehow. It's a very good play there from Alu. I, I, I mean, that's a spot where it's like, oh no, it's, it's like three on four. We don't, we don't have anything going on. And Ali takes initiative. He pl he's proactive. He's like, we're not going to let Flipside sit there with an advantage on the map. We're going to take some map control. And he went back into A main and he cleared it out. Got a frag, key kill on Orpa, picked up the orb, got the guy on door. And then that's it. The round is kind of shut down. So beautiful stuff there. Realizing when you've got to be making those plays. Now we have the two AWPs here on Alu, on Chris J. Holding angles. They're going to hold swathes of the bomb site down. You can see Ali's the only man on the A-bomb site, which is going to allow them to put lots of people elsewhere. We got, we're seeing the uh, Eco push here in mid from the terrorist. Dennis is going to open up the vent. The flash comes in and Chris J gets taken out by a great play, a great pincer movement there from the uh, approach towards B and mid. So that's going to open up the bomb site. Can they get the bomb down though? God, the frags coming in thick and fast. Legger getting taken down on the site by Berg. Bomb is still not down. Bomb's on the floor, in fact. Three versus two now in Mouseports' favor. Yeah, it's a very good nade going to the back of the side, picking up a kill. And we'll see Tapson over there by the CT, going to find himself the spray onto Dennis. Twist with a response. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Orpa versus Orpa. Alu and Twist left to play the round out. Lots of time at the moment. Ooh, he actually, I think, saw a pixel there, perhaps. But Alu, very focused there towards B storage. Very good position, actually, in this one-on-one. -on -one. He actually, I think, maybe heard something there. There it is. Easy, easy pickings. We're going to find the kill, and that's the round there for Mouse Balls. They're bringing it back. They've had some very shaky rounds. They've had a lot of rounds where players are put to well, a situation where nothing can win that round uh, except a, an exceptional individual performance. And that is what Mouse Balls are surviving on right now. Exceptional individual performances. Neither team has money at the moment, which always makes for a good game. Two AWPs coming out again for Mouse Sports, uh, Alu and Chris Jake. Going to be a rocking nose. Completely different CT setup. They're going to push door as well. So uh, they're changing things up every round, which is going to be good for them. But mid has been taken by three terrorists. So that's going to open up lots of options here. The f we have a potential flank from Nuki. We'll see if he can time it right as the A push is coming in. So he's going to have to act fast. Ali once again put into a very rough spot, but this time he comes out with Zilch. We do have Nuki over at short, trying to make his way up into a frag, and Tabson wrapping around CT as well. There it is, the flashes to try to delay him, but he pushes through them. Doesn't find anybody though, they're all just retracting back into the better spots. Like you're spraying through the smoke, oh, barely unable to find anything. Tabson will take down the master, but they still can't get into the site. At denied even still, Tabson and Legia going to get killed and that's going to be the no another round there for Flipside as they start to take a lead in this one as we should see another another round for them as Mouse Sports Bank is well and truly broken. That is a brutal round for Mouse Sports and again as you just said there's no money in the bank uh, but again Flipside not really running away with it financially just yet. They did survive however with four players in that previous round they which they is going to be all Oh, they have forced up armor P250s here. They're going for it. Legia, aggressive in mid, but uh, gets flashed and standing in smoke. No man's land. Doesn't know where he is. 
Two people down to mouse sports. Tabson will join him. Alu gets a frag on Dennis. That's going to be something. Picks up the AK. Oh, fortunately, manages to get another frag out of that. So that's uh, two valuable kills there. We've got Chris oh. J going, looking for the one digs. Gets a penetration kill on Berg, and all of a sudden it's two versus two. Dumas is on uh, low enough life that Chris J can take him out with one shot to the chest. Oh, and there it is, two one. Flip side in trouble now. It's all in twist. It's happened before. You can do it again. He does get the bomb down as well, and this is a this is a site that we can you can make you can create one on ones with the site. Like you can see that he can use these barrels on the site to really find himself some good, good angles. There it is. Quick one on one against Ali. That's exactly what he needs to do. Now there's one more player left to find. Chris J has himself. And AK as well. He gets the shot onto, onto Twist there. Beautiful stuff. That's going to bring him the round and tie things up. Mouse Sports with a force buy. If they'd lost that one, they're, to be honest, well and truly screwed. But actually able to make it happen, which is kind of unbelievable, actually. I didn't expect that at all when I saw that they had forced up with PT50s and Kevlar and, and some nades. But they made it work. And it's 7 7. Last round of the first half. Again, uh, Mouse Sports, if they win this. They have they have vested flip side. They're going to move forwards in the G2A.com Cup here. They're playing for a chunk of that ten grand dollars, and uh, provided by G2A.com. Ten grand dollars. Ten grand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the big monies. Dollar dollar bills. And Chris J with an opening pick there into a main. He does it so effortlessly, effortlessly, and we were going to see Mousepots now in a nice position. Oh, look at this Snyder walking straight up. They didn't expect that. He does get a quick kill, but the trade is there from Alu. They are trying to get onto Alu's position, but they can't actually frag him. Finally, Alu goes down, but the cost is heavy, as now we just have one player left in Dennis. He's going to get taken down by Chris J, and Mouse Sports looking pretty damn good. And it, it's like Flipside and Mouse Sports. It's just it's this battle of individual skill. All of, beautiful. all of these rounds have been so different yeah. in the approach from the CTs, in the approach from the Ts as well. Sometimes they're just charging into mid and taking it with three people. Sometimes they're going elsewhere. Sometimes they're playing slow. And then all of a sudden we have these huge flurries of frags from either side just going yep. back and forth. Trades, trades, trades. It's absolutely insane half. Alu top fragging for his team despite Chris J's best effort. It's going to be one frag behind him. Legia still one for 14 right now. And... Uh, not doing much better is Dumas on Flipside's team, who is 5 and 11. So it's just a bit of a crazy match at the moment. It's really crazy. And something I'm going to be excited to see is how Christy and Adi create opportunities on the T side with those AWPs. We saw them do it on, on Mirage on the T side. But we, obviously, that's how they, that's the style they're going to want to play. Again, it's kind of mixy at the moment. But let's see. We're going to have the clocks going straight in. Chris J, like, parkouring over the box to find himself a headshot onto Dennis as we have Tabson already on the site. The bomb soon to go down on the hands of Alu. And this is looking very bad right now for Flipside as Mousebots take a very dominant grip of the A bomb site. Tabson does take down another player. He's just going helpful ever straight to CT there. And Schneider, I mean, the best thing he can hope to do is get some extra cash by getting some kills here. That's really the best, the best, uh, best thing to do. If he gets one kill, he's going to be able to afford a scout, and that's kind of if they want to play like that. That's that's kind of nice. We saw Mouse Sports in their CT; they were they were like in the same position. They didn't go for really much of anything. They had like a couple nades, a couple P250s. They they largely left a lot of money in the bank for their buy round. Um, Again, uh, I made the point about CZs now, CZ armor not being really as viable now. Do you know what's really annoying for Schneider? What's that? He lost one point of armor from the bomb. Mm. If he had 100, he could have bought a helmet for 300. Oh, yeah, 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 that sucks. But that, that one chip means that if, <laughs> if he wanted to upgrade his armor, it would cost him $1,000. Yeah, instead. I hate that. So that's crazy. So let's see uh, what he's done with his cash mahones. Yeah. He has left kept, what, 1250 in the bank. See, he could entirely have uh, got a helmet, you know, and a 5.7 or a Deagle. But, but I, I uh, like this, though. I really think there's a lot more value saving the cash now. Now that CZ's not in play anymore, I think that money is more valuable to save. And they have largely saved. I mean, I think there's two players that kind of try to buy by using all of their money, but the rest, I think, left them some money around there. Ali's getting tagged, but he can't see the people he's getting tagged from. Just head skipping through the smoke, finally catches him and rips his face off. Dumat going to be last man standing. Deagle and Kevlar, no helmet to speak of, is going to go down to the Tech 9. Is it me or is the Tech 9 
basically like a CZ. Because people protect are like time. running and spraying it, and it's like it fires really fast. It's basically a CZ. I was very surprised that the CZ got uh, buffed. I was very surprised. <laughs> it does feel I like mean, that. I I I feel like the 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 change in sound they did to make it more satisfying when you fire it was yeah. probably enough to get more people to use it without further buffing buffing it because I don't think it really had drawbacks. It but, was already uh, really good. Yeah, but there we go. All right, so we're gonna see uh, some trades coming in here. Double nade. But this is this is a good round. If Dennis, oh Dennis, even gets another one, he's gonna get a gun too. They do get the plan on B, but if if he finds himself an AK here, which he does, he could very well, he could very well decide to to actually try and uh, save this. They like know where he is, though. That's the thing. They know they know roughly where he's coming from, so that will allow him to get a crossfire. But Ooh. he's looking completely the wrong way. Oh my God! They're actually one guy went all the way around to the vents. This is this is massive, and he's hearing the stepping. No! Oh no! Dennis gets both kills. What? On earth were they doing? That's what's going to be. That's that's what they're going to be saying on the comments right now because it's two on one. Dennis has no armor or anything. He doesn't even have a kit, and and instead of just staying on the site and playing two versus one. Oh no! Oh, okay, they're gonna they're gonna get it. Oh, anyway. he's dead as well. That oh. is a that is just sad. That is a very somebody writes I haiku about that one. Can, can we just like never? Can we just move on from that round? It didn't happen. That round didn't happen. That that was a modern tragedy. <laughs> it was so weird. All right. Back into the present. 11 to 7 now for Mouse Sports as they uh, have their AWP on Chris J. And actually, let's check out Chris J, see what he's going to do with that spawn with that AWP of his. So he's going to go straight for the A main play. He can either go aggressive or just try to defend against aggression himself. Okay, so we had Twist with an aggressive position up in mid. Did manage to take down Alu, but uh, got taken down by Tabson. And we've got frags coming in all over the place as per usual in this match. Then it's just uh, going up and down the slide to get some information. I saw a player on his screen, but I'm wondering, I'm guessing he did as well. Judging by the angle he's holding there. And they are coming around. It's being planted on the site while he's standing there. He can't see a thing, though. Tom is going to go down in a different position to what we're normally used to seeing. He's going to use the smoke to his advantage. Take down Nuki and A main. Takes down Legia as well. It's all of a sudden only down to Chris J with 10 HP. And he gets naded! Dennis going crazy <laughs> right now, like he's John McClane. <laughs> oh my god, not even John McClane had nades like that. Okay, now I'm, I'm lying. No one can top John McClane in his nades. MacGyver? Or well, maybe not nades, but MacGyver is a bit of a beast. With, with an elastic band though, not guns. MacGyver's powers, powers are held in his mullet. Did you know that? I didn't know. The, the mullet contains the power. Has an invisible aura. Yeah. Alright, well... Side with three orbs, as you do. Dennis Berg and Twist with the orbs. Are they going to get wrecked by the Shrek nines? Shrek nines. Are they going to get Shrek by the nines of stop. What tech? You are. Stop. I don't want to. I don't wanna stop. You can't stop me, James. I'm rogue. I'm a renegade. That's you're a really the, good you're song. Off the grid. That's a really good song by uh, Raging Against the Machine, by the way. I really like that one. Anyway. We do have the Tech Knights coming into play, and they are actually wrecking some faces right now, but there it is. Equalizing things. Look at that, Dennis doesn't even need a scope. Going to take down Tapson as he makes his way in, and Alu there with that Tech Nine is just hiding, cowering behind the little ramp. He's they in a ditch. They don't know where he is, though. He's amongst all the rubbish there. Look, that's just where the tea tea's tossed. They're, you know, when they're like sitting there on the site, just waiting for the teas, having some tea, and uh, just throwing, discarding all their rubbish there. Just sitting in the filth. Of the B bomb site, it's not, it's not a happy site, but it is a uh, flip side coming back into the match now. Nine rounds to the eleven of Mouse Sports who do find themselves on a bit of an eco. They did get some damage on that round, but uh, flip side were able to to uh, weather it. They do have, of course, a pretty pretty precarious situation on the money, so they've got to be careful here. They don't want to lose anybody right now. There it is. They know what's coming. The counter flashes coming in. Can they get the shots though? We do have the spray coming Ooh, in from Dumas. Tech nine. Good play here from Dumas. Not being greedy. Oh, the reload! And Chris J does take him out. The trade is there though, and we have two ops coming in from the CT. So this could be a little bit awkward. But and they go close. There it is. Schneider goes down immediately. Trade's coming in, but it's gonna vastly favor flip side. And this is this is happening so fast, this comeback right now. Yeah. It's like in the blink of an eye. Yeah, and it's hard to keep a track of all these frags coming in so far. So someone got absolutely wrecked with the uh, from the Tech Nine. 
Which is definitely a better option than the, the CZ for those kind of situations where you're up close and personal. It's got to have better range for the one shot than uh, the CZ will these days. I'm telling you, Tech9 is going to get. Like, this you know, uh, now uh, people are actually using it, everyone's going to be like, wait a second, this gun is also really overpowered. What the hell? And I, I bet yeah, but you have, to, you have to click it more than gun. once, so it's harder to use. <laughs> yeah, that is actually kind of a big deal. Um, but its spread is really good. But anyway, here we go. We've got Tabson over the top. It's like a World War II right now. Going over the top, out of the trenches, over the top. But he decides to uh, fall back there, let his comrades do the work, as we do have flip side. Just playing very defensively. They've got three on the A side, actually. A, a, a setup that's uh, kind of vulnerable to the play we're seeing here from Mouse Sports. It's, they're hitting them in the soft spot right now. They've only got one player on the deep side. They've got one on connector. This is not looking good. Not oh, he's oh, shot no. his friend. Why would you do that, Chris J? Don't be that guy. Look at this. Going for these fancy wall banks who onto the site. Chris J, ready to work the magic. The boomstick coming into play. Still working for these uh, wall banks. The flick shot not going to happen. Look at the madness from Berg coming in heavy and hard with those two frags. Switches for the AK. Oh, we get the third one as well. And he goes down. We can have Nookie now on the bomb site. Able to pick one off. Bomb in his hand. He's not going to get an opportunity to plant it. Schneider with the fatal shots onto Nookie. And we're all tied up, James. We're this is crazy. Up. This is absolutely crazy. It's so fast paced. There's just so many frags. I mean, look yeah. at the money on both teams again. It's just, it's not ideal for either. Either of them, and there's just it's just a war out there. Can you feel the energy, James? Someone bring me a helmet. But you have a bandana. Is that that's, that was enough for Rambo? Is, is it not enough for you? Right now, with all these frags, I want to get under the table. <laughs> I'm scared of debris. <laughs> Here we go, Bird coming in heavy and hard again. The B storage push. We haven't actually seen it like that from Flipside, but they do it this time, and it catches now spot soft guard. They're in a very annoying spot now that they have to make a play to gain them the advantage back. As the flip side, well and, tr well and truly had it, and that frag cements it. You know that uh, Molotov's gonna flush Dumas out into the crosshairs of the T's as we have another trade in middle, and all of a sudden it's a 2 on 4 in favor of flip side, once again looking very strong. What are Mal Sports to do? It feels like they've lost all their, uh, their mojo. They are indeed in a difficult situation. I think they're gonna. Ideally, be looking for one more pick just to stretch out the CTs a little bit more. Because if they pick the wrong site and there's an extra man there, it's going to be a hell of a lot more difficult than it otherwise might be. I mean, let's let's be real. Let's be honest right now. They need to they need to cr they need a risk. They need a big big risk to to get them back into this round. A risk where they could very well. Um, it's it's a slippery slope at this point. And here we go. We got uh, Legia pushed up over the top again, uh, over on the boost, checking all the spots in the middle. Going to be trying to actually go for a bit of a split on A. Does make some sound, but it was uh, not detected as the city are too far away. Leggy going in now, does find the shots onto quad boxes, but he won't make the kill. The grenade will finish off the job, but that is not enough. We do have Flipside taking the lead, and this is a massive stretch of rounds. They, their money is not amazing. It's not super amazing, it's decent. But wow, they hit, this is a really big stretch of rounds that they've just taken. Indeed. Now they're going for an eco buy here. They need to get some damage in, and they're not going to give Flipside this round for free. It's a bit too close for comfort if they do. So uh, four Tech Nines, Rec Nines coming out. One P250. It's going to be potentially an aggressive push here on a main. No, they're just going to go for the flash and uh, see come what may. So Ooh. Tech Nines will begin. Pick from a door Snyder left with a very very big task. He cannot cannot do it. We have uh, mouse spots on the side. Those smokes, perfect. Addy with the tech nine up close. Dumas is going to feel the heat right there. As we do have a very bad situation for Berg now. Four players left to fight against. Bomb is down. He's going to just turn tail and run. Flip side, finally, getting shown that they are not the only guys that can dominantly take a round. Looking at the boards and how much money Berg has compared to his teammates, especially Schneider Whoa, and what? Twist. What? Did you just see that? No. Look at the, look at the scoreboard again, James. Do you see it now? Oh, wow. Legge has tripled his uh, kills. <laughs> Do you see it? Legge is on three kills. What is that he about? He is on three kills. But, uh, yeah, Berg, I mean... But he's a very good team player. Look at, look at all the swag <laughs> that Mouse Sports picked up in that in that round. They picked up two AWPs yeah, yeah, yeah. and two M4s. Now, it, on the one hand, Berg has to try and do as much damage as possible, but he can't afford to because uh, he can't buy a next round if he dies. 
So he has to save that gun to allow his teammates to uh, all come into this round with rifles now. So an, a difficult situation. And look at the money that's in the bank for Mount Sports after, yeah. honestly, it's like a jumble sale when someone left a, left a car door open and just went for a coffee. <laughs> Seriously, the two orbs now. That's a huge dynamic shift here, and it's causing Flipside to try to respond with something. Because they can't just sit back and let the orbs go to play and, you know, on these angles for them. They can't let that happen. Chris J, opening the door, just, just bravely looking out and seeing what he can find here. And he might just find something sooner, sooner rather than later. But we do have a guy pushed up, or boosted up rather, uh, close to the uh, A main area. It is Schneider. And smoking it off there to have a better look over, better guard over door. But still, you know, flip side, they've got to stay out of sight right now. The worst possible thing to happen would be for one of them to get picked by these orbs. They've got to force the orbs to come close and uh, have hard engagement. He's going to find himself a kill onto Schneider, though, over on the boost. This twist, great response there on the door. That's Legia down and Chris J, who was one of the two orpers for Mouth Sports, who are left now with a situation where they're forced to make the B play. But that might not just be... <laughs> that, that's a pretty good, good thing to be forced to do right now because there's nobody home. Stove was left on. Flipside are rushing back to try to see if they can deal the situation. As we have the AWP and two M4s left here for Mouse Sports. Good positions for them. Flipside, got to take this call cool and, and calmly. You know they can really, really turn up the pace. Here it comes, straight on in. Not going to mess around. Dennis up with a frag, but there you go. Aliu and Tabson and Nuki all combined together to take down the remnants of the Flipside retake. And we do have Mouseports returning once again to prominence with the lead, but only by a single round. But it should go to 14 now. Yeah, I mean, the important thing, again, is with all those Tech Nines, they survived with four players. Look at the money differential on these two teams. They're heady up there between 6,000 to 8,000 plus, whereas the CT's not doing that well at all. So uh, that was a huge round. It may have changed how this will do, but uh, Dennis, great positioning there, great timing, great frag with a PT-50, one shot straight to the head. That Molotov is so smart because look at where it landed. It's going to be really hard for them to get through now. They want to get onto the site really fast, but they can't, all because of that Molotov that Chris, that, uh, Chris picked up there. Chris, sorry, uh, Dennis picked up there. And we have Mouseports slowly making their way in, but look how delayed they are onto the site. They're making the best of the bad situation, and that weapon advantage is just too much to overcome for flip side, but it was a good attempt and uh, you've got to give props to Dennis there for doing everything he could. But as James pointed out, this money, it's just, it's so hard to overcome. I mean, this is it now. This is it. Yeah, this is crunch time. I don't think we're going to see any more ecos from our sports unless they start losing rounds and buy loads of AWPs. But uh, flip side are definitely up against it. Back to the wall right now. Look at the lack of grenades they have on their team. They just have a few things here and there, but uh, not a hell of a lot. So we can see the T's heading towards A at the moment. They're fully committed. Right now we have a 2-2-1 two, two, set up from Flipside. Is it going to be enough when these nades come in? That is the question. Dennis on forklift. Schneider on the boxes there. Quick hop up there. Does find himself the frag on the tabs and working with these flashes to find the kills. And they can't get in. This is a lockdown from Flipside. This is the result they needed. But Chris J going to come in with the AK. Does take down Dennis. But twist over by quad boxes. Able to just tie it all up, wrap it up in a, with a neat little bow, and he's going to be able to bring Flipside another chance. Alu with $13,000. And again, let's look at the bottom of the scoreboard here. Dumas got eight kills. Legia has got five kills. So, uh, you know, things, things pretty even all across the board here for both teams. There's not much in it for either of these guys. One round in between it, but the pressure is definitely on the CTs. Look at the cash. Oh my goodness, Tabson. Tabson, Tabson, great, great aim there. That's beautiful to watch. We have a, a rough situation. Now, Chris J, look, he's ready for this. He's got his, oh no, looks away just at the wrong timing. That could be all the difference here. And look, it is. Berg's able to find both frags. All oh, because Chris J looked away just with milliseconds. He just held that from. I don't know, a second more would have probably spotted that. And two, two points I need to realize, though. That, that, the fact that Chris J, uh, sorry, that, that Orpa was there means that there's two CTs because he has to get a boost to get into vents. But the bomb is down. They've only just picked it up now. That was a Q, basically, to try and push on a bomb site where there would, could only be one CT. But with the bomb down, they've missed their opportunity. 45 seconds remaining. Ali with a huge pick on Dennis on A. 
and uh, see what they can do with this. Currently, we've got uh, Bergen, no man's land. Currently in mid, nobody to shoot. Dumas falls as well. It's all down to Berg. And I think we're looking at game point here. Ali with a bit of a spray down to Berg. Doesn't find anything though, apart from, I don't know, some chunk of damage at 40 or so. And there it is, Mouse Sports now move on to match point for the map and the match, the series against Flipside to move on in the bracket for the G2A.com Cup for a chunk, a juicy chunk of that $10,000 that is up for grabs provided by G2A.com. Flipside only able to muster two rifles, two 5.7s, one Deagle, a few flashbangs here and there, and a smoke which has already been thrown out. So uh, this is definitely last chance saloon here. And uh, the doors are swinging in the wind, and the bar is dry. <laughs> Flipside in trouble here. Again, we've got the T's going towards A. Twist is in a potential flank position, but can he get around in time? That is a question. He doesn't know, however, if there's anyone towards B, so he's just going to be a bit passive for the time being, but it could all be too late as this push starts to come in on the A bomb site. They're all a bit flashed, though, so this is a little bit staggered at the moment. Now they're making their way through, and it's uh, not perfect, but it should do the job. Uh, Frag does come into the hands of Dumas, but we're seeing heavily that Mars Sports are in advantage now. And it's all on Berg. Twist unable to do anything on the flank. Here he is with the Famas against three AKs and an AWP. Gonna go for the spray down. It's gonna be Mouse Sports that take the map and the series 16 to 13. Mouse Sports over flip side. Uh, a beautiful game, a really exciting cash match. And uh, I gotta say, there's a lot of moments where I just couldn't contain my excitement. I was really, really excited because the pace was so heavy and hard hitting. I mean, just into those sites. Like, the frags trading so quickly, it's just, it was nuts. So yeah, that was crazy. A, it's too much for me. That was a highly enjoyable match there. The uh, Again, the economy for both teams was busted for the longest time. And that often does make for a great match, great frags. And uh, I think that's what we saw today. Good highlight reel from Chris, Chris J, J. <laughs> once, once again, just going absolutely crazy with the AWP on that map. So look out for that on YouTube later tonight. <laughs> I mean, from about 20 different people, as soon as they can get their hands on demos, indeed. Yeah, all varying esports music. Absolutely. And by that, you mean dubstep? <laughs> yeah. All right, so guys, uh, uh, Schneider, Schneider actually did an interview, a text interview on uh, Face It community, the, the Facebook of Face It. I, I almost tripped over that, the Facebook of Face It. There you go. Some, Facebook some of Face It. Sounds very face. grand. Yeah, but uh, if you want to hear some thoughts from Schneider, if you're a Schneider fan, go there and check, check it out and see what Schneider's been up to and uh, what he's doing these days. And uh, guys, that's, that brings us to the end of one this more show. Th one more thing, actually. Um, we can find skin on the workshop. Oh. Hopefully production has the overlay ready. We've uh, got another one from the War Cloud series. So uh, uh, you can see it. I think it's going to come up in a second. So we've got an M249 War Cloud. So if you're, if you're not one of the, the, the Negev massive, <laughs> then um, definitely jump on, jump on the M249 crowd. So R slash Negev gone wild or gone wild Negev. <laughs> Don't tell them. They're all going to come and downvote, man. So <laughs> bit.ly slash face it 249. You can go and uh, upvote the uh, face it M249. Once again, as you've seen um, this year, uh, a lot of the money from these uh, skins contributes towards our leagues where we can put these matches on for you. So definitely upvote A if you like the skin and B if you want to see uh, more great uh, leagues and prizes from Face It. And before we close out this show, we need to check out the bracket, guys, so you guys can get an overview of what's happening in the G2A.com Cup at the moment because it's kind of early days for the European one. We've actually done quite a few matches already for the North American one, and we should be doing one later as well. If, you're, if you want to stay tuned in uh, for that, that will be happening, or it should be happening. So uh, we should get to see how things are progressing right now. Obviously, Mars Sports looking really good. They're a team that uh, many expected to win, despite some you know, really good results from Flipside. We've seen Flipside almost beat Na'Vi at DreamHack, for example. They had a... Actually, Flipside had basically won that match against... Did you see it? Against Na'Vi on overpass. Mm, it was no, like I don't think so. It was like a huge, huge match, like big, uh, big uh, comeback, and then they let Na'Vi come back and bring it to overtime, and then they were like ahead again, and then, then they lost it in the overtime. It was so depressing, because Flipside had it. It was just one of those really awkward matches. And it happened to Na'Vi again, you know. Na'Vi, I think Na'Vi is one of these teams where they, they're able to do like really well just in the later stages of the tournaments. Like it, the later it gets, the kind of more their skill um, really shows through. But in the earlier stages of the tournament, like in the group stages and that kind of, kind of area, they don't show their peak, which, which is actually usually kind of a good thing at these big t lands. Of course, you, yeah. Because you want to peak as you as you progress towards the end and some teams peak too early and it screws with them but but yeah Navi almost got knocked out by flip side so so yeah
All right, here we go. Bracket up now. And uh, you guys can see what's been going on. So we've got Epsilon and Dat uh, to be played on the right side of the bracket. And uh, we've got the qualified winner there. Not sure who that is just yet. We have to play Hellraisers, which should be a pretty rude awakening. <laughs> it always, yeah. it always can be to play ba Hellraisers. Baptism by fire. Yeah. Being welcomed by uh, the Barrel of Simples AWP. But those matches should be taking place next week on Thursday. But look at this. We've got uh, LDLC and 3D Max. Of course, we saw this match earlier today. Uh, it's the first match. And LDLC won. Uh, 3D Max put up a pretty good fight. I, I, I felt pretty good about that because it's, it's always good to see teams that look like teams actually getting some real real results in there. And of course, uh, we have this potential matchup now, LDLC. Or well, we will have this matchup, LDLC and Mousepots coming up um, in the future. So that should be really cool, actually, because who doesn't like watching either of those teams play? I don't think uh, there's lo loads of people love watching Mousepots play yeah, because yeah. If, even if they don't get great results as a team, they're just the players. Like the star factor that they have is, is just so fun. Yeah, the AWP battles will be great to watch as well. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that uh, about sums it up for this stream here. But if you want to stick around until the early hours of the morning, or if you are from America, wherever, wherever you're from, we'll be going live again in, a, in some hours with the North American G2A Cup, uh, where we are progressing with that. So, well, I guess that's all from me and James for now. We'll see you later.